Coming up, the Google legacy. The millionaires. They're not all PhDs. They made it big. See how they're spending it now. All that and more when high net Google topped $650 a share this past week, if you can believe that, leaving many Google investors richer and some Google employees even wealthier. Jim Goldman reports on some unlikely Google millionaires. Charlie Ayers was employee number 53 at Google, joining the company as its first chef, partying big time back in 1999. It was the coolest and weirdest little place I'd ever worked at, ever. Um, it was part brain trust, part frat house, and part uh, ongoing party. Today, Google employs almost 16,000 workers. Its stock is up more than 600% in just three years. The company is worth over $200 billion. Founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin, well, they're worth $19 billion each. And Ayers 40,000 shares, well, they're worth a cool 26 million bucks. I did pretty well. I did pretty well for someone that wears an apron. Charlie Ayers is the poster boy now for the Google legacy. He's one of thousands of millionaires the company's created inside Google's hallowed halls. But unlike the last dot-com boom, these mega-millionaires spend their high net worth on far more practical baubles. Mansions and real estate replacing exotic cars. Giving back instead of just getting more. Even, even now that he's gone, you still... You still do the like Ron Garrett, who was only at Google for a year, but pocketed enough money thanks to Google's high-flying stock to work only when he wants to. They don't have to work to pay the mortgage anymore. Now he's a partner at Funk Ventures in Santa Monica, California, looking for new ways to spend and invest his money. True to the Google culture, mostly and Bonnie Brown, the, the company's first masseuse. Yeah, masseuse, an early contract employee at Google. She got enough stock options, so she never has to work again. Today, she has her own foundation. She's writing a book on her five years at the company, travels the world, and invests her Google bucks. In commercial real estate, all over the country, uh, stocks and bonds, and um, different companies. It's not just individuals either, but companies sharing in Google's mega growth. Like the company running Google's free employee transportation. It's gone from just one bus a few years ago to 32 today. The high-end specialty foods provider Village Imports, it sells $80,000 worth of ingredients to Google every month. And all of them sharing in Google's wealth, a kind of economic rising tide floating so many boats, and not just here in the Silicon Valley, but in virtually every city that Google does business. Newly minted millionaires inside and outside the company. Sure, the Google guys grab all the headlines, but it's the former Google gang, ready to invest their Google dividends right back into the economy. For High Net Worth, I'm Jim Goldman.